Welcome to Escape from Scorpion Island, where three teams of adventurers are doing everything they can to try and escape. The 16 adventurers are split into three teams. Only one team will escape. The race to escape is almost impossible, and the team's only hope is to collect these island torches. They hold a secret power, the power of light. Whichever team wins the most island torches will have the best chance of winning the final challenge because the adventurers will be in darkness. Come on, come on, we can do it! Right, they're in front! The island torches are their only hope of escape. This is going to be an extraordinary adventure. Last time in the Eliminator, Bradley and Ricky for Sting drove around the wheel spin course with speed and efficiency. Venom had a few knocks along the way. But in the end, it all came down to time and Sting were quicker than Venom. So coming up next, it's Double Jeopardy, where the challenge is much tougher and the stakes are raised for the adventurers. Team Sting will take on Team Claw as they battle it out for an island torch. But as ever, there's a lot at stake, especially for Team Claw. The island has decreed that if Team Sting win, they'll take one of Team Claw's torches and go into the lead. Team Claw, who are you choosing to play this next challenge, Double Jeopardy? Suki, your captain, who have you chosen? Me and Ailey. Have you any idea who's going to be driving? Yeah. Who? I'm going to drive and Ailey's going to direct me. Ailey, are you happy about that? Yeah. Yeah? All right. One of Team Claw's advantages is that they get to pick who plays against them from Team Sting in Double Jeopardy. But who will they pick? Now, Suki, I need you to choose two players from Team Sting to take part in Double Jeopardy. Now you know that you can't choose Bradley and Ricky because they were in the Eliminator. So two different players, please. Anna and Savannah we're gonna choose. Anna and Savannah. Now remember, you have to prove your worth and stake one of your torches, which means if you win, you could walk away with six island torches. If you lose, you will only have four. Right, Sting, you have three island torches. Yep. If you win double jeopardy, you could have five island torches. Woo -wee. Woo! <laughs> Savannah, you're taking part in the next challenge. How do you feel about that? Um, I feel really excited because I want to win for my team and I'm up for the challenge. Right, it's time to face double jeopardy. Claw, are you ready? Ready! Sting, are you ready? Ready! Bring it on, it's time for Double Jeopardy. The island has created a sun-blasted dust bowl racetrack marked with a giant white scorpion. The adventurers will go against the clock to use ultra-rugged buggies connected to an immense length of rope to mark out the giant scorpion sting. But this is double jeopardy, and so the island is making things extra hard for sting and claw. Amazingly, this time the drivers will be wearing blindfolds. So as they race around the course, they will be completely dependent on their teammates' directions. Sting and Claw will need to be fast, but they also need to be careful because if they crash into a post and knock its skull off, they'll get a 10 second time penalty. Whichever team completes a Scorpion Sting in the quickest final time wins. First up, it's Claw, with Ailey giving directions and Suki driving blind. Claw, start your engine. Three, two, one, go! And they're off. Set, 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 set. Right, hold it in, hold it in, don't bump. Right, hold it in, hold it in, go. Hold, hold it in, go, go straight forward. That's it, that's it, hold it in, go. And Ailey's not proving shy with her directions. Ah, 
Now this is worrying. The last thing Claw need is for Ailey to totally confuse Suki. Back a bit. Well, they've made it round another post. But this looks bad. Oh! They should have listened to the rest of the team. With the buggy straining at the cable surrounding the course, all it took was a short burst of acceleration to pull at the posts. The skull on the one behind them smashed. And they were just lucky the one in front didn't. So that's a 10 second time penalty. Now, as you can see at the moment, they're having all sorts of problems. There is a time penalty. I've seen a skull go. Oh, and there'll be another time penalty in a moment if they don't wind around that fifth post. Yep, they've missed it out. So that's another 10 second time penalty. Bad news. But will it prove decisive? Just think how Suki must be feeling. Facing a constant stream of commands, sat behind the wheel of a buggy, easily able to crash at any time, and yet completely in the dark. It's terrifying, but so far, he's keeping really calm. This end of the scorpion sting is the hardest part of the course. Can they keep it together? <laughs> they were really lucky there. They scraped that skull along the post, but unbelievably it didn't smash. Just as well, because they surely can't afford another time penalty. from Ailey, but it does seem to be working. Suki seems to be listening and is managing to wind them around some of the tightest corners. There is only one major turn to go. Here they come, to the finishing line. Come on, Suki. Hit it, there it is. They've done it all the way through the course with a blindfolded driver. Great stuff. I did fine, I tried my best. It's really difficult, isn't it? We thought it'd be so easy, but it's much more difficult because you're going left and, like, because they can't see, they think left is right, but it's not, and you're like, no, don't do it. And it's like... The, when, we were going, when we were trying to reverse, it was going forward instead of actually reversing. It's so difficult, wasn't it, Suki? Yeah. Now let's see what Savannah and Anna can do for Sting. The clock's going to count down from Claw's final time of 4 minutes and 11 seconds. So if Sting can make it round the course to dry out the scorpion before the counter hits zero, they will be the winners. Sting, start your engine! It's on! No! <laughs> you yeah, keep going forward! Stop! 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 Well, they're no, around no, the post no. this time, and it looks... Oh, no! Oh, it's OK! Anna needs to react more speedily to Savannah's commands, or else this will keep happening. They smacked into a post, sending its skull flying. 
And that means a 10 second time penalty. Just what they didn't want. And is still reacting so slowly. Why is it moving? What are they doing? Really left, really left, really left. Stop, stop. Okay. Back by. Okay, stop. Well, they can still pull it back, but there is no time to waste. That clock is ticking. Come on, you guys, do really well. Let's try. Finish it, Elise! Um, on go. On go. On go. It must be terrifying for Anna, taking control of a motor vehicle for the very first time and doing so without being able to see a thing. But if she doesn't get over her fear soon and put her foot down, Sting are in real trouble. Okay, um, can you go left? Savannah's giving clear instructions, but with no enthusiasm just when Anna needs G'ing up the most. Okay, stop. Chris, harder one go, harder one go, harder one go. Hard right! Yeah. Forward! The other adventurers are shouting out instructions, but it's not clear that they're any actual help. Harsh words from Stevie, but nothing seems to be helping Anna and Savannah. They are still oh moving goodness. alarmingly slowly. Straight, yeah. Yeah. Oh, what a smash! Oh, okay. Savannah should have spotted that their reversing was clearly going to take that skull out. Dramatic stuff. But Sting's hopes of victory are really slipping away now. A wheel spin. And of course, the Skull Smash gave them another 10 second time penalty. Oh ah, stop! <laughs> Keep on going! Right. You turn, you turn, you turn, 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 Oh no! They're reversing right into the post! They're running out of time, but still, they do not want to break the engine. This is it! They're into the last few seconds! One! Sting have lost, and it wasn't even close. I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> it was really hard because, like, we just like kept on getting, I don't know, just like stuck, and we had to go, like, keep on going right, left, right, left, and we, we weren't just like getting anywhere. So. Ow. <laughs> she was on the gears. If I'm pointing in the right direction, I don't know. I don't know what. I, I don't know what. I don't know what I did. Neither <laughs> do I. <laughs> I've never dr driven something before, so I have no Neither idea. Neither have I. I just like <laughs> got a quick, um, and it just taught me a little bit quick things, and I just had to go with that. <laughs> yeah. You told me to press down a lot. Yeah. Stop, stop. Yeah, down, because you feel like just like going a little bit. So, yeah. And then you told me to press down, and it went too far. Yeah. <laughs> Can I actually take my blindfold off yet? <laughs> Things couldn't have been less similar for Sting and Claw in that challenge. For Claw, Ailey offered up a constant barrage of directions, while Suki coped amazingly calmly with driving blind. 
For Sting, Savannah was clear, but never managed to motivate a very cautious Anna into picking up enough speed. Both teams had some massive smashes and incurred some serious time penalties. But in the end, the sheer difference in pace was what counted, allowing Claude to make it all the way around the course, but in the same time, Sting just didn't get far enough. It's time to find out the results. Who won wheel spin? Is it Team Sting or is it Team Claw? We do have an outright winner. The winning team is... Claw. Yes! Do you want your island torch? Yeah. Let's light it. Suki, that's the one that you state. And here is your brand new Island Torch. Well done, teams. Back to your camps. It's been an exciting day for the teams competing in another thrilling challenge. Now they have to vote for their new team captains. Who's Team Sting's new captain? Vote. Really? Oh. No, it's yours, Ricky. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to spell my name wrong, too. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't play balls. Oh, well done, Ricky. Woo! Thank Thank you. You. Who's the new team captain of Claw? The new team Claw captain is... Scorpion Knight, Tyson. Woo! Thanks, guys. Shot. Yeah, I didn't think I'd get it. Hey, thanks, guys. Time. Go. Team. Team. Oh. Let's find out who Venom have voted for. Uh, okay, the next captain of Team Venom is. <laughs> Don't peek. <laughs> <laughs> is, 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 is. Every day, the team captains will select a bamboo pole. Whoever gets the shortest must take on a task to win a reward for their team. Draw your enemy. You gotta win me. Go, go, go. go. It will require common sense. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Yeah. Good coordination. <laughs> and they must be prepared to do anything for their team. Which of the captains will select the shortest bamboo pole today and be doing the task? Will it be Imani? Tyson? Or Ricky. Could it be all of them? Let's see what the island has in store for everyone. teams realise the captains have the same length of pole. What's going on? 
The island is being unusually nice. All the adventurers have been told to have fun and chill out. So the teams have fun in the secluded lagoon. Calm down, stream with me, it's fun. Isn't there like a waterfall thing down there? No, you don't go that Night falls on Scorpion Island. Team Claw have six island torches. Team Sting have three. But Team Venom only have one island torch. But the next challenge is prepared. The drums echo over the island. It's time to find out the name of the next awesome challenge. We need to know what that next challenge is, and it's written in the rings. The next challenge is called... Unbearable, Unbearable Lord. Lord. Ricky. I think it's something maybe we have to like, carry rocks around, <laughs> um, um, like, and you have to, like, maybe winch them up or, like, get them into, like, a basket and, I don't know, make a mechanism swing and hit a gong. <laughs> <laughs> interesting, yeah, really, really interesting. Tyson, unbearable load. OK. I reckon you're going to be carrying heavy stuff around. Um, and it's most likely going to be an endurance thing and you're probably going to have to carry them up a hill and then you can like put wheels on the bag of rocks and like wheel down the hill roll down <laughs> yeah <laughs> like go cutting and then and then like empty the rocks into a bag and then the weight raises a flag up a pole and the first person to raise their flag up the pole wins oh don't mate yeah. very good if that's right that's it might not be, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well team captains you have a little idea what you think it's all about why don't you discuss it with your teams and see what they think? I think it is cold or something. The next challenge has been revealed, and Ricky, well, he thinks it's something to do with boulders, and uh, Tyson, he went into some detail. He did, but I've got to tell you, one of our team captains wasn't a million miles away from what unbearable load actually is. At the base of the awe-inspiring skeleton falls, the teams will have to use all of their strength to haul on a rope to keep a gigantic barrel from splashing down into the water while their opponents try to make the barrel heavier and heavier and heavier. There's going to be real drama and genuine emotion as the adventurers are pushed all the way to breaking point. Right then, guys, we need to find out who is playing unbearable load. Sting, step up to the island fire and place your palms on the island palms. The flame has faded under two of Team Sting's handprints, but three are smouldering brighter than ever. These are the ones selected to play by the island. Playing unbearable load is Anna, Ricky 
and Stevie. Ricky, happy to be playing again? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm delighted because um, that's just kind of a big thing. Like I love like doing challenges and just having fun and winning, hopefully. So it will do well. And Stevie, the island wants you to play a challenge. Yay, finally! <laughs> um, I'm really glad that the island's actually picked me now because um, I have been off with the flu and like an injury. So um, I think I'm just going to get down to it and I'm going to really try and bring Sting back up again. And I'm going to get out there and I'm just going to try and win it for Sting. So they can count on you? Yeah, definitely. Please step down. We need to find out who's playing from Venom. Step up to the island fire. Let's find out who's playing on bearable load. Playing for Venom are Harry, Jeremy, and Millie. Jeremy, yeah. you're playing the challenge. Are you excited? Yeah, I haven't played a Eliminator in a couple of days. It should be fun. I really want to win because someone's got to step up and grab a couple of torches off court. And it is all about island torches. You currently have one. Millie, are you going to make the difference? Um, hopefully, if I can play, if my knee is up to it. You have a poorly leg, don't you? Yeah. What sort of percentage are we at the moment? Um, well, I'm not 100% at the moment, but hopefully with a good night's rest, should be up. So, teams, you've got a lot to think about. Get back to camps and plan for unbearable load. Night, guys. Night. Good night. Good night. At the moment, Claw are way ahead. They have six island torches. Sting and Venom need to up their game if they want to stand a chance in the final race to escape. Currently, none of our teams have any idea of how important the island torches actually are. But believe me, they are very important. I guarantee there's more twists and turns around the corner here on Escape from Scorpion Island.